so you can see behind me here the uh, project that we have been undertaking for the past couple weeks um, only because it's just been raining pretty consistently so to get any work done outside has been difficult and challenging but regardless we did get uh, this uh, we have the blower system functional now got that done before the storm yesterday and so this system has changed it's changed a little bit um, this video is going to be more focused on the composting aspect of everything that I do um, so some changes that we have it's the same footprint it's a 12 by 12 foot pad here uh, we have pallet walls this time I used uh, straw bales in the past and they worked great but then they start to compost which isn't super helpful I also think it tends to attract mice and so part of the issue with the previous uh, pipe system for the aerated static pile uh, mice got into them and so we had circular holes in the previous pipes and the, when I deconstructed these these piles in this pipe, um, the pipes were packed, completely packed with mouse nests. Like it was their own, to say condominium, it wasn't, it wasn't a big enough, it was like a sprawling um, metropolis that they had turned these pipes into. Just completely packed, no airflow at all. So uh, we went a couple different routes with this new setup. Fingers crossed this works because it was it was such a pain. So uh, I'll show you a closer look what we did. Okay, so we ended up using new pipes uh, because the holes in the other pipe were just way too big. So now we did uh, slots. So we have slots pointing at this is the four o'clock and eight o'clock uh, time uh, if you're looking at the pipe this angle so it's four o'clock here eight o'clock there so the air force is down and up um, and then we have the bed of wood chips starting to grow I got to work on that a little bit more yet so we have two pipes they span four feet uh, and then we have two feet over here, and it would go two feet over here as well. It's probably going to spill over a little bit, but that's okay. Um, again, we have the pallet walls, which should hold higher material. And so the big project this week was getting a new blower. So <clears throat> what had happened, <laughs> like typical... Uh, the previous floor blower um, died because that's what happened. Um, and there's a sm spongy moth caterpillar. Um, so this blower is from an old furnace. Uh, I think the date on it is 1965. It is more powerful than I was using a Stanley floor blower. So I'm going to have to dial in my timer a little bit better a little more accurately so i've ordered new timer um i think it's only going to run like a minute or two at a time um but again that's something i'm going to have to feel out so trial and error like everything else uh so because this is under um the eaves almost we do have to install some like coverage so, typical scrappy fashion, this is just the uh, plastic cover of, it was like a workout bench. <laughs> uh, don't lift weights anymore because I don't have to. Um, so that's covering the blower and then we've uh, taped an old inner tube to kind of hang over. I've already tested this. This should not get caught up in the blow or the air uh, being pulled in. You know, uh, when I mentioned the mice were in everything, they were in everything. Like this entire case uh, had the mouse condominium, 
Um, this was probably like their market. I don't know. Uh, this was all packed. The other side is completely packed. So to prevent, again, a mouse infestation, uh, we have wire quarter inch mesh here and also on the side. And it's not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. It just has to work. It's kind of the, the name of the game around here. Um, we're just super lucky that all it really required was to fit the new blower was to kind of cut out this back wall and, um, bolt it in. And that was about it. It is a little bit heavier and beefier, so we might have to brace it. Might just do it anyway, just to be careful, but, um, yeah. And over here, I'm going to try to get the compost water heater up and running again, but this would be the, um, the, in, the, uh, entry point, entry and exit point. So there's, there's the footprint there. And you can see the old pipes here. These holes are gigantic. Of course a mouse fit through all of them. Like, of course they did. They're just, <laughs> it's like a highway tunnel. So, um, another thing we modified, the pipes are not sitting, they're not running through cinder blocks this time. Cinder blocks, kind of supported the pipes before um, what they ended up doing was turning into a huge issue when trying to remove the pipes from the compost pile. It was a lot of work, a lot of extra work, and it didn't help that the, the mice had them packed full of uh, material, so they were heavier and harder to pull, but um, yeah. And they kind of slope down. I think that'll be fine. Uh, they'll be supported by the wood chips. These should be pretty strong pipes, so however much material sits on top of them, it should be fine. Um, but I'm excited to get this up and going and running again because uh, I've been needing to get this done and now it's finally done and now I can get back into the composting. Uh, this was this week's project. It's done. We got it done right before the thunderstorm yesterday, which felt super gratifying. And um, now I just have to start filling it with wood chips. And that's, that'll be the next thing I do today. So there you have it. There's my new compost setup. I haven't done a compost video in a very long time. So I'll update with pertinent information as it's uh, available. So thanks for watching and keep it circular as always.